Bamar salna fi qariyatin. Now these ayat, you know, they are very similar to the ayat 42 to 45 of Surah Al-An'am. And this is, you know, one similarity. When two surahs are a pair, there must be some points which must be common between them. Similarities. Now one similarity. وَمَارْ سَلْنَا فِي قَرْيَةٍ مِّن نَبِيٍّ إِلَّا أَخَذْنَا أَهْلَهَا بِالْبَاسَاءِ وَالضَّرَّاءِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَضَّرَّعُونَ This subject has been discussed fully in ayat 42 to 45 of Surah Al-Anam. And we never sent any of our prophets to any city, to any township, but we seized the people who were living there in وَالْبَاسَاءِ مِجْرِي وَالضَّرَّاءِ and distress لَعَلَّهُمْ يَضَّرَّعُونَ so that they should be they should become humble to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because if they are living in comfort they have plenty to eat it's you know in the natural result becomes that people go and they just forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so if some some difficulty is coming some distress then you know if there is any dormant iman in the in some portion of the heart it will kindle it will come, it will come up on the surface of the conscious level. But you know what happened? Those nations whose hearts had hardened, they never benefited from these, you know, this which we, which I, I quoted the ayah from Surah Sajda. Sajdah. Before that last and final punishment of extermination of a nation, small things were sent to them so that if they can wake up from their deep slumber, let them wake up. So, مَبَدَّلْنَا مَكَانَ سَيِّتِ الْحَسَنَةِ And then, when they didn't pay any heed, we changed the evil for the good. حَتَّى عَفَوْ They became very affluent. وَقَالُوا قَدْ مَسَّابَانَ الضَّرَّا وَسَرَّا And they said, it's nothing, you know, these things come and go. This distress comes, comforts come. After comforts, distress. After distress, comforts. It is nothing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's just normal, you know. The cycle which is going on. It's nothing but history. فَأَخَزْنَاهُمْ بَغْتَةً And then we seized them suddenly. وَهُمْ لَا يَشْعُرُونَ And they were unmindful that the final verdict of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is at hand. وَلَوْ أَنَّ أَهْلَ الْقُرَىٰ آمَنُوا وَاتَّقَوْا Had the people of these cities and towns believed and taken to taqwa, la fatahna alayhim barakatim in a samai wa lard. We would have opened for them the gates of all our blessings from the heavens as well as from the earth. Walakin kazzabu. But they decided to reject, to belay our revelations. Fakhaznahum bima kanu yaksibun. So we seized them due to their earnings, the deeds that they were earning. Now, you know, turning towards these people, Quraysh, who were living in, in Arabia at the time of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, are the people living in these cities, in Mecca, in Taif, and so on, they, do they feel secure? That the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot come to them when they are sleeping? If it could come to the people of Ad and people of Samud, and if it come to the towns of Gomorrah and Sodom, if it could come to the people of Shaib, can't this punishment come to you? Do they feel secure that our punishment will not come to them in the daylight when they are playing? Do they feel secure from the plans of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? From the devisings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَفَلَا يَامَنُوا مَكْرَ اللَّهِ إِلَّا الْقَوْمُ الْخَاسِرُونَ And none feel secure against Allah's devising except the people who shall be losers, who shall be doomed. أَوَلَمْ يَحْدَ لِلَّذِينَ يَرِسُونَ الْلَرْضَ مِنْ بَعْدِ أَهْلِهَا Does not this thing lead them to some right path? That the people who inherited the land after the destruction of the previous nation or generation that as we destroyed them, we can send them also the same punishment due to their sins. 
الاقلوبهم ونتبع الاقلوبهم and we should put, put a seal on their hearts فهم لا يسمعون and they don't listen now تلك القرآن قص عليك من انبائها these are the towns and cities we are relating to you narrating to you this the news the big news من انبائها their big news ولقد جاءتهم رسلهم البينات to all of them our messengers came with clear teachings clear proofs clear signs فما كانوا ليؤمنوا بما كذبوا من قبل but they were not it was it was not for them to believe what they had rejected in the beginning this is the second point which is similar because we found in surah al-anam wa nuqallibu afidatahum wa absarahum kama lam yu'minu bihi awwala marra i told you when you know it dawns upon a person that this is the truth he must jump at it accept it if after the heart you know the mind the intellect the soul has testified that this is correct whatever he is saying it is correct and even then a person rejects that truth out of his haughtiness out of his you know being megalomaniac i can't accept his if i accept his point of view that means he has succeeded and i am defeated i am not going to take his point so then you know the faculty and the capability of seeing the truth that is withdrawn from allah by allah subhanahu wa taala and this is you know تلك القران قص عليك من انبائها وقد جاءتهم رسل من البينات فما كانوا ليؤمنوا بما كذبوا من قبل كذلك يطبع الله على قلوب الكافرين and in this way allah subhanahu wa taala puts the seal on the hearts of the unbelievers وما وجدنا لاكثرهم من احد and we didn't find in most of them the fulfillment of the covenant which covenant that will come in this very surah inshallah today ayah number 172 when you know before the creation of the world of matter only the souls of all human beings were created and from all those souls allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took a covenant alastu bi rabbikum qalu bala am i not your lord and all of us replied why not we accept you as our lord but you know most of the human beings don't fulfill this covenant wama wajadna li aksarihim min ahad wa in wajadna aksarahum la fasiqin we found most of them just as shaitan has said you won't find most of them as grateful and that is that has come to be true the most of the progeny of adam proved to be ungrateful 